The fixing machine Champ 4 manufactured in America by Kraft can be used for two functions. Apply the hinge to fix the support to the back of the photo frames. Apply the hanger to the support of the frame. To apply the hinges the following accessories are necessary which are to be ordered separately. Guide to position the back and the support of the back. A hinge disc. A hammer punch for hinges. Later we will give a detailed explanation of these accessories. After having applied these accessories to champ 4, it will look like this. The following accessories are necessary to apply the hangers and are to be ordered separately. Guiding system for the application of the hangers, which includes the right, left and upper stops. And a base disc for the hangers. Also, for these accessories, we will give a detailed explanation later on. After having applied these accessories for the hangers, the chamfer will look like this. We will now observe in detail the two functions of the chamfer. We see how the Champ 3 performs the function of applying the hangers. Let's start from the base model and see how the accessories are inserted which are needed for the application of the hangers. The base disc is applied like this. The three components of the guiding system are applied like this. The machine can apply these hangers. For every type of hanger there has to be a relative hammer punch. We see how the hangers are inserted into their punch. This is the punch C1401 to which the 1401 hangers are inserted. Note that the hangers are blocked by the magnet which is inside the puncher. This is the punch C1428 with the hangers 1428. This is the punch C1408 with the hangers 1408. This is the punch C1439 with the hangers 1439. We newly observed the complete series of the hangers with their relative punches. We underlined that the punches are not part of the machine and are to be ordered separately. To apply the hanger, one first has to center the support of the frame. To obtain the center, you use the 2mm scales. Both scales start from zero, which is found in the center. The measurements of the scales are already in a decimal system, or rather in centimeters and millimeters, rather than the English system, inches. Then block the two stops, left and right, with the crank screws. The third stop is used to regulate the distance between the hanger and the upper side of the support. The height of the puncher can be regulated and fixed by the specified bolts as you are seeing. We now apply the hanger 1401. The hanger is positioned under the puncher where it's blocked by the internal magnet. At this point the lever is lowered in a way that the sharp tips of the hanger penetrate the support and cling onto it. We retry with the hanger 1428. Then with the hanger 1408. And finally with the hanger 1439. In this case, the support is constituted by masonite of approximately 3.5 mm of thickness, but other material can be used. For example, grey carton or white carton can be used.
Let's see again the base model and see how the accessories which are needed for the application of the hinges are inserted. The disc for the hinges is applied in its place. The hammer punch is applied like this. The positioning guide for the back and its support are inserted like this. The machine can use three types of hinges. The hinge 622 suitable for small backs to a maximum of approximately 10 by 15 centimeters. The hinge 234 suitable for medium backs to a maximum of approximately 18 by 24 centimeters. The hinge 239 suitable for larger backs. All the hinges are made in a way that they cannot be opened further than a certain point. In this way the back support remains always in the correct inclination. To apply every one of the three hinges a different device, which we will use stop, is necessary to keep the hinge blocked during the application. As an example we now apply the hinge 234. For the other two hinges the applying method is the same. We remove from the machine the disc. On the disc we have to apply the stop C6234 which is suitable for the hinge 234. First we insert the two springs in the two holes of the disc. Then we position the stop above the two springs and fix it to the disc with a screw. The two springs have the task of keeping the stop distanced from the disc. To regulate the distance between the disc and the stop it's necessary to screw or unscrew the screws. Then, the hinge is positioned against the stop, paying attention that the curl of the hinge's fold is facing downwards. Two small chromed magnets have the task of keeping the hinge blocked in position during the application. We now put the disc in its place and gently rotate it until it's in the correct position. At that point we fix it with a screw. The back support, which in slang we call tie, is placed under the hinge. We now move the wooden square against the tie until the corner of the wooden square adheres perfectly to the corner of the tie. At this point we block the position of the wooden square by rotating the appropriate crank screw. We then position the back above the tie. We regulate the two black devices which have the task of blocking the back in the correct position to obtain a certain overhang between the back and the tie. The overhang is usually of about 15mm but can variate according to the width of the frame. The height of the hammer, which is in the base of the lever, can be regulated by rotating the appropriate screw. At this point, we only have to lower the lever which will push the back against the tie in a way which the hinge will hook firmly the two elements. In this case, the back is made of masonite of approximately 3.5mm in width, but different materials can also be used. You will find the CHAM4 fixing machine with all the equipment in the catalogue of Rinalden and on the website www.rinalden.com.